Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. So for today's video, I'm actually going to do something I haven't done surprisingly before, which is going to be an OCAD uni life like vlog of just what I do at university. So yeah, it's just going to be a little follow along with my classes and um, my day at school and the projects I do. Also, I got these Christmas earrings from Michaels and this one's a snowman. Like, how cute is that? I've also got, actually, let me flip. Hmm. I've also got, I also have Christmas trees, like little Christmas trees. I've got, I've got candy canes, how cute. And then also mistletoe. And ho ho ho. And um, this one. Like, how, how freaking cute. But yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and start our day. Hey guys, so quickly interrupting this video to once again say that I've been sponsored by Ana Luisa. They're one of my favorite jewelry places to shop all my jewelry from and I've had like a few pieces from before and they are definitely still holding up and amazing quality. Ana Luisa is amazing because they craft high quality jewelry pieces at affordable prices and they're also carbon neutral which is amazing from their products to their packaging. It's great. So um, the pieces that I have here today. So what I'm currently wearing is actually the Paris earrings and then the um, necklace um, in Inna or INA. Those are the two pieces I'm currently wearing but I also love these like snake earrings very much giving reputation <laughs> they're called boa and then these really adorable heart earrings um, they're called Jessica so yeah. But yes, definitely go ahead and check out Annalisa. Everything will be linked in the description box below. And to use my code ANNATRAN20 at checkout for 20% off. Definitely great for Christmas gifts. Um, so check it out. <laughs> So I'm just going ahead and I'm just going ahead and getting ready. It's currently Saturday actually, but um, the lab, like the computer labs, open from nine to two on Saturdays, or I think it's nine to five now. Um, but I need to work on my animation for my 3D modeling animation course, so I'm gonna just go in and work on it. So yeah, I know I'm s such a studious child going into school on a weekend. Oh, also, um, I made breakfast, so here's my breakfast, just thought I'd show, it's just an egg on toast. <laughs> Mountains with semi-mullets decides to do a half-hour tribute to Kenny G. The sea sickness factor alone... And then he looked for Preston studies and inspiration, and his inspiration was around bubbles and water and waves. This is not next week. Don't get confused. <laughs> Don't start freaking out. So here's some of his sketches. This was his final concept, final conceptual sketch. Okay. I'd love you all to draw at this level. I would kind of, I would, I would stop at that. You know. But then that happened. The alien body came out <laughs> and started consuming it. This is the part I'm most critical of. I would never have done this. I mean, uh, the material choices of materiality. It, it looks like an interior designer has had a complete breakdown. <laughs>
So I thought I'd share a bit about my projects and what I've been working on so far in class. So first off is structure. So for this class, basically the big project that we have to do for the entire semester is a pavilion or like a bus shelter. So the location that I got is Harbor Front or Harbor Square in Toronto. And basically I'll just insert photos of kind of what I'm working on and my idea and my model. So yeah, um, that's due in, like the final of it is due I think in like two weeks, I think. So yeah, that's due in like two weeks. And then for my personal space class, I'm also designing a home and it's just a habitat home. So basically my site is High Park and you design a house that you're gonna be living in for a whole year and you have to live off of like natural energy. So like solar energy or wind energy and figure out how you're going to get water and just like cook naturally without using like big appliances like stoves and fridges. So that's pretty interesting. I'll insert sort of what I'm working on and my idea there. And yeah, I do need to create the model for it, like the final model, but that's not due until like two or three weeks from now. So I have purchased the materials, but I'm not super sure if I'm gonna be using them yet. Um, I might have to go to the art supply store and pick up more. I will show a little bit of what I'm working on on AutoCAD with my floor plans and stuff and yeah um, i'm also writing an article for one of my classes so the subject or the title that i've come up with for my article and what i want to write about it is the psychological effects of architecture on the neurological brain so i'm really excited to write that i do need to interview my friend for that too so that will be fun and yeah and then finally for my animation class our last big project is to actually like create like a 12 to 30 second animation on anything you want it just has to relate to the theme of change in just any way so for me what i'm gonna do is focus on the theme of change in an environmental change aspect so the interpretation or like quick artist summary that i've written up my animation is going to be called sweet exitium which is latin for self-destruction uh, i interpreted the theme of change in an environmental change context the concept of my animation starts off with the serene atmospheric display of nature and fish swimming it then progresses to show the flip side of that situation the pond where there once resided water is now replaced with a drought and all the fish are nothing but bones upon finishing watching the animation the viewer realizes that the flip side is actually reality my animation is a narrative of the conceptual and literal connection of how humankind has permanently damaged and changed the earth forever through mass consumption and exploitation of nature and its resources. Yeah, so, and so yeah, so that's kind of, ooh, this lighting is terribly backlit, but, um, but I want the pillows in the background, so I'm trying, maybe let's move over. That better okay i'm just I'm trying my best here Whoa. jesus christ but yes i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video um i'll try to film more um of me in school because i know you guys really like watching that stuff and whenever i'm in the wood shop metal shop and maybe i might try to go to the textile shop which has like sewing machines which will be pretty fun try out the jewelry shop and also i think there's a pottery ceramics studio so i definitely want to look into that but yeah Well, 
So yeah, so I hope you guys ended watching today's video, and again, if you'd like, go ahead and check the link in the description box below to go to Anna Luisa's website and use my code ANNATRAN20 at checkout for 20% off and save yourself some money this holiday season. But yes, ciao!